But this is what I'm saying, guys. Shows have to have consequences. You jump in front of your boy to take a bomb that's like maybe six feet away from you, right? If you can catch the coronavirus from six feet, dude, that <laughs> bomb sh- should be doing more than just giving you an eye patch, man. I know, right? <laughs> what are you talking about? He has a couple of broken bones. You know, I was going to say bar. something. I was going to say something, but, you know, I'm just going to leave it. That That's good. That's good. <laughs> podcast week six of the fall 2020 season on this show we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week i'm your host david and joining me today we have stren hello next up we have ku yo 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 and finally we have taylor hello all right and um uh, we don't have sash right now but uh, hopefully he'll be able to join us later in our fire force discussion um currently this week we don't really have much for anime news so we're gonna jump straight into jujutsu, jujutsu kaisen um so this episode i guess going back i mean i was hoping again that like it per they permanently kill off one of the characters but they didn't so we're back <laughs> to just the typical like the typical fight between the, like the main character and like his and like the, the guy who possessed him some i guess some stuff happening with like the conditions for training the bodies and then we're basically in a training arc before the tournament, so just your usual sh- again shonen tropes. This is a shonen, sir. Yep. <laughs> I mean, we we could have saw this coming from a mile away, so it's fine. I will say, I I mean, even I, I, enjoy this I don't I don't usually yep. enjoy like training arcs or tournament arcs. I, I'm still enjoying the show as like a weekly series. I thought this last episode was a lot better than the previous one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought yeah. it was a step up. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm liking Nami's yeah. like character. Like they're drawing more, they're opening him up more. So I'm sorry, I'm really starting to enjoy his character. I look forward to following him for this the series. Seems like he has a secret power, or a hidden potential in a sense. So Something like that too. Yeah, that would be nice. He's not, at least he's not useless like the uh, the girl. So <laughs> well, to be fair, not- we haven't even seen much of her yet. Well, I like that he's not, he's not, he's not, like, he's not, like, emo or stuck up. Like, like, again, like the other stereotypical shonens, he's actually looking out for other people, so that's really nice, so. So, 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 so hear me out. A better Sasuke, right? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry, Johanna, I had to no, do No, I'm it. not sorry. I'm for taking, some reason, taking my I, word for that. I don't know, with him, I always get just get Mob Psycho vibes. I don't even know why. Like, yeah, I always just keep... more the little brother from Mob Psycho. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's the guy. Yeah, and I don't know why. That's that when I, when I see him, I just get mob psycho vibes. That's right. We had mm. barely any panda, panda. I know. Yeah, we, episode. All this guy, all this guy is doing is just throwing around the useless chick. It's That's main, all we got to see. It's mainly the main guy. They just like I guess we're at the point where they have to explain more of the the curse powers, and then mm. <laughs> and then you like those references he did, the oh, yeah, yeah, and like, the bankai. <laughs> Command yeah. Panda. Taylor, of all of those, did you catch any of those? No. Okay. <laughs> and I still don't really know what you're talking about. When he was just saying, it was like, oh, like I, I wish I could have done like a Rasengan or a Kamehameha or Bank or Bankai and all this other stuff. Oh no, I thought it was just made up. Uh, no, <laughs> oh, are, it, it's made up, all right. Those it's are made up the, all right. the the trademark like signature moves of other shonen shows like Naruto, shonen shonen. Naruto, oh, Bleach, okay, Dragon okay. Ball, because this is a shonen jump show. That's cute. Like, do like, their reference have been really like, spot on? That? Show? Yeah. Can they even do that? Like they they don't even do like like a spoof version of it. They just do like the actual name. Like because they're all sh- it's it's all published by Shonen Jump Shueisha, yeah. so it's the same company. That's yeah, it's like, that's it's just like, so weird. It's like if Nintendo games or references other Nintendo games. It's the same company, so. I mean, I suppose. I, I, I guess, guess it's it's like it's like the different. real it's like it's like the real world. They're in Japan, so kind of makes right. sense that like that Shonen Jump exists in that world. So I mean, come on, you can't make this IRL. You can't make it. <laughs> so my, my so my favorite references have been uh, uh, Merkel Crocop and uh, and was it Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence? Lawrence. <laughs> Those have definitely been like my t- my top two favorite ones so far. Um, does anybody think that the uh, 
the uh, the blind guy or the guy with the the eye thing over? Like, because uh, uh, that next Bas- episode should be pretty sick. I mean, basically blind Kojo? Kakashi. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's his name? Ku? Uh, Gojo. Gojo. Yeah. yeah. He's... Anybody think he's gonna die? Oh, Hell no. I don't know, dude. He's <laughs> the strongest jujitsu sorcerer, dude. Yeah. How is he gonna die? What happens if he gets knocked out next episode? Well, he might no. get knocked out. That's different than dying. I well, I just assume that this is a show that's that's fairly well. Who's who's really gonna save this guy though? I think he's strong enough to fight the other guy. I mean, I know he, they said like he's what like seven or eight of those fingers strong, but I think the teacher is strong enough to push him back. But it seemed like it seemed like all of them were like were there though, or maybe they just come to save the guy. Who knows? Oh, I don't. This volcano see... guy just seems lame. I don't, I don't mm. even like remember the volcano guy showing up. I don't remember anyone else showing up at the end. Yeah, preview. Oh, damn it, Shen. <laughs> the preview. <You> fucking spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> my bad also that it, scene... it, it seemed like others would show up i don't know but it was just so quick so maybe it was just flashbacks to the other guys okay that's the sure. restaurant when like he was setting everyone on fire i feel like <laughs> so like i feel like it's like a, such a manga moment where it's like when you get a manga it's actually you feel the impact because of the still images like you, i think it'd be it's much more impactful in like in like a manga form when you do an anime it just i didn't hit me like it should have like i didn't feel any tension or the seriousness it just felt like whatever. Yeah, I just thought it was hilarious when this guy's like, "Man, I was like, I think I'm just gonna quit." I was like, for some reason, if I go over that table, I'm gonna die. I fear. For... And he just basically like, "I quit." And just just books it, and he was uh he was the only one that survives. Like, yeah, well, that's just, yeah, that's survival instincts. I don't know, just that scene just did not translate well to anime. Oh man, when you open it up with like, like, I thought it was cool. I didn't have any issues with it not being the. I read the manga. <laughs> I still like the anime more. <laughs> I, no, I, I thought it was really funny with. Uh, it I don't know. It shouldn't have been funny though. It's also a serious moment. I know, but they they didn't. They shouldn't have started with a funny moment, and then they try to go into you know, going to seriousness, yeah. and it's just I get bad timing. But I still love it. It. <laughs> Actually, it reminded me, you know, it reminds me of Fire Force because like people burning up. That's all what of I sudden, said. So yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. So but I don't know. I, I I mean I'd have really I really don't have anything against this. I'm I'm a little bit interested too. In the uh, was it the cursed dude basically who was making that pact for some reason, where where he's able to take over the body for a minute, um, yeah. and he won't kill anybody. And I assume it's something with uh, with uh, Megumin or Megumin, and Maybe. we just don't know yeah. what it's going to be about. So I'm glad that they're uh, they're making they're foreshadowing some of that, but yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I think. Is this just, just like is this a series that I just watch weekly that I'm not gonna think too much about? So yeah, no, I'm still definitely enjoying it, but a lot of, like a lot of the moments where they're supposed to be like you know serious or I, I just haven't taken any of them serious yet. Like if you're mm-hmm. like a like a seasonal anime watcher, this is a good show for you to watch. Otherwise, like yeah, I think I think everyone else is just probably just binge it later or something, or maybe just watch highlights. I don't know. Yeah. Um. I don't know if I. I don't really don't have anything else. Yeah, it's it's hard to uh, say talk much about the show because like everything, everything's been like, uh, you know, not not just happened, and we're still just waiting on the tournament arc, I guess. So. Yeah, that and then next episode's a fight. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Taylor, anything else? Nope. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, that's gonna be it for Jujutsu Kaisen, and then uh, we'll head over to Haikyuu and. I didn't catch up to this, so it's up for you guys to Taylor, Taylor, Coop, you guys are gonna have to carry. I did not what? like this you episode. Watch it either? Oh, no, I did, no. but I just didn't like it. I just assume this is back to what what uh, Haikyuu's been this season, and I was I didn't like it. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, think, <laughs> I think the first half, uh, the the animation was was really choppy. I don't know oh, if you God, guys all of it. There's only one good moment with Ka- with with uh, uh, Kageyama. And that was it. Oh, with the service aces. Yeah. Everything else blew. Everything else blew chunks. Yeah. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, well, because because like, what I was telling Taylor before, like where they they had like this, there was supposed to be this epic moment against uh, Skishima with that other dude, and they don't even show the shot. They just show the guy's head turn sideways. <laughs> yeah, he just he just goes like, and yeah, just the head turn sideways, and then they just saw then the ball was like in like behind him. I'm like what the fuck was that like you have like this epic animation for a scene you completely skip and miss so that was uh so that was disappointing but 
Um, hmm, what was there to say? No more Nakama this week, so that was already a downgrade right there. But at least they were sitting on the benches, so that's or not on the benches, on the bleachers. So that's that's fine. Um, we got. Oh, go ahead. So, uh, gosh, what was there really to say? They're introducing more characters from the other team because that's what this match needed. <laughs> um, honestly, like the animation actually didn't bother me much this episode, except for a couple of the plays, which I literally couldn't tell what was happening. That bothers me. Like you've already downgraded it, but like at least have it be good enough that you can tell like who's scoring a point. Uh Um, but I mean, ultimately it's not really a match that I care about a lot. So that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't really have a lot to add. Yeah. There wasn't that many excitement with this episodes. I feel like they were just, Doing a lot of setups. Uh, for some reason, Nishinoya's, which I've never noticed this, but apparently he's really bad with overhand receives, which is kind of weird. He's supposed to have the floater balls or oh, receives. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess when it's just normal, it's it's he's fine. But floater serves, he's having issues. I I can't get behind why he's having such issues, especially since as a liberal, like his defense is supposed to be what makes him stand out. No, he's a he's a setter. Oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. so like the, the man's short, so it's basically just above his head. It's like the perfect position for him to just perfectly like touch it up and get it to the center. So I'm kind of confused as to why he's having issues. And then um, based on what you mentioned last week, I thought that this was going to be more focused on uh, Tsukishima. Yeah, but, that's what the preview made it look like. Yeah, yeah. But um, there was no main highlights other than maybe Kageyama's... Uh, service aces and yeah. then the fact that their tactic seems to be working to target Terrible. the uh, Terrible fucking <laughs> yeah their their strong specker adan i think it was uh yeah so yeah there, there wasn't much going on with this episode and it had bad animation too so it kind of made this very lackluster for me this week but the episodes before that we have brian to actually uh give some thoughts on uh was it the episode with ryu specifically don't we fly <laughs> I wish it was as hype as those seasons, man. Fuck, I miss that <laughs> shit. The, the one thing that was so depressing, though, is uh, um, actually, oh, sorry, right, go go ahead. Uh, the couple of episodes before that, it was just the Nekoma matches, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a pretty good addition. Like, it, it was a solid like one and a half, two episodes about showing like, off, like, Nekoma and, like, how they're trying to get back to, like, the rivalry of, like, the dumpsters and stuff. I was like, eh, you know, two episodes is good enough for these characters. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, pretty, they're like, they're rivals, right? So it'd be pretty cool to show up at Nationals and stuff like that. So I was, I was like, I enjoy this a little bit. Uh, yeah. This episode, yo, I was so angry, man. I was like, wait, I was looking at my screen. I was like, this animation never bothered me before. <laughs> <laughs> but this first like 70% oh, no. of this episode I'm oh, no, like friend, you got to him. this is some dog shit animation dude I was like what the fuck happened it's just a bunch of blocks running around hitting a circle I'm like what happened to the badassery that happened in the show man it's just like just lines being drawn around I'm like it was so weird the animation was so off this episode I thought with the Ryu episode I thought maybe there was hope you didn't text me after the episode man when you watched it I didn't know I was supposed to report to you, fucking captain. My bad. <laughs> I just want to know your thoughts, dude. But uh, yeah, what, were, what were your sure. overall thoughts on the Rio episode, quick? Uh, the last <laughs> two? Rio. Which, the last uh, episode? Tanaka. Episode. Three, three episodes ago, I guess? Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> that was such a good feeling episode, man. I was like, this guy is just getting hammered. Because I know what it feels like to like, fuck up like a few plays at a time. And then, like, it's your moments to shine, you know? And then you get, like, you know, the adrenaline's pumping through you. And then if you if you miss the shot, you just feel like complete failure. But once you make it, oh, best feeling ever. The man got his redemption within that episode. I was like, yes. See, even his, like, inner thoughts were just hilarious, though. He's like, man, he's like, I always thought like, I was, like, a kind of a genius. He's like, you know what, actually? I still think I'm a genius. <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. This guy's, like just spirit animal right there this this dude has like some of the hardest working mentality i've ever seen in a character this guy's like you know i've never been like genetically gifted to be like super tall i was just always average and i have like freak instincts and stuff 
but I always put in the hard work <laughs> and he fucking pulled it off. I was like, dude, this guy's awesome, man. I love this character. He's so relatable. Yeah, it was, well, the whole thing too is like he basically just gets himself out of the holes. Like it's oh, not wow. like uh, where it's not like like too much like on his teammate, but he just he's able to just get himself out of it. Yeah, which uh, which is definitely like uh, for a lot of people can be really tough. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get like thoughts on that because that, that episode was hype. Even like that Nekoma episodes weren't that bad either. So I thought like, okay, it's trending the right way. And then we got this episode. Yeah, dude, and... I was like, yo, they must have like spent their budget later down the road or earlier in the <laughs> season because the budget on this episode was just not there. I'm like, yo, they must have just are focusing on some other part of the show. And I can understand why because this this part of it right now is just. This well, is whatever. No, I'm, I'm telling you, man, season three, that's where all their money went. <laughs> I believe, I'd actually. Believe. Oh. But, uh, it's, uh, it was, um, I don't know, like, like besides, like, the, like, the animation, like, the, the music is, well, they're still using kind of, like, the music from Tanaka's episode. Mm-hmm. So, it's, but it's still not nearly, like, as, as impactful or, <clears throat> or memorable as previous seasons. Um, also, I also don't know if, like, a part of it's, because of you know just kind of the animations ruining it as well. Uh, but, um, no, I mean to be honest, I feel like it's probably because there hasn't been any impactful moments yet, right? Like that's with true. Ryu, I think the main the main reason why we thought the the episode where it focused on Ryu's backstory was so good was because there were a lot of like emotional attachments, a lot of yeah. impactful moments. But, good animation uh, too. I mean, yeah, I mean it wasn't as bad as this episode. I mean, right. God, <laughs> God forbid, but. Um, <laughs> No, I, I, I want to say like maybe it's just it's just that there's no tension, right? There's there's no like meaningful interactions yet, so maybe that's what we're just lacking. It could be. Um, what else was it? There was a uh, the um, also Brian. Were you kind of shocked that the next that the next match uh, uh, Krasno would be facing Nekoma? Uh, if. I'm pretty sure they have to win this one and then the next one, right? Or is it no the, yeah, next? They no, they, they they no they win this one, then they're facing Nakama next. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yep. I was kind of expecting it because after I'm pretty sure the next match is what semifinals or quarterfinals. I would have no, to not quarters, not even so not even yet. Yeah, so it's like I kind of expect at one point or another I expected it to happen for them to face each other. So I'm also, predicting they win this match. And and then do you think they're gonna lose to Nakama? No. Then, no. I I'm predicting like this. Carson is gonna make it to final. Okay, guys. So if what we break the, the four, if we break the fourth wall, right? There's only twelve episodes, and they're already on episode five or six. They haven't finished this match yet. I'm not saying that they make it to finals this season. I'm just saying right. like overall, like they're gonna make it to final. So Taylor, Taylor do you think Nakama or the Croc, uh, Crossman would win? Or I feel like I have. I feel like I have a bias versus what I think would actually happen. <laughs> <laughs> so Nekoma, you're saying is winning? <laughs> I mean, well, actually, I don't know, man. It's tough. I really don't have a clue for what for what will happen. Like the thing is, like I would want Nekoma to win because I I like that team a lot. But like, I also remember that the guys on Crescino, the seniors, like this is their last chance. So. It'd be really heartbreaking if they didn't win and move on. I just feel like I, I feel like they're both like both the teams are gonna lose before the finals. I don't think either one of them are gonna make it to the finals. Um, no, guys, you don't think so? are, this is the main team, guys. How can you guys not have faith but this, in the Kata this is, But this is only their first year, so you would just assume like this is just basically because like the uh, like like the seniors like their goal was just to kind of like make it to nationals, so they're right. able to experience and stuff. But uh-huh. I just feel like it's gonna be like one of those like emotional hits that just feel like they're it's gonna come where they're just gonna lose, and then basically like you know like majority of the teams just gonna feel so bad about um and basically like losing it, you know losing it for them, and then it's gonna be like that whole kind of like emotional kind of like uh or you know making like the team feel good that you know we were able to make nationals, we were able to make like a dance and stuff. Uh yeah, uh, I mean, I don't I'm, know, man. They they they, they got to make know. it all the way because yeah, the- that hasn't stopped any of the other like sports animes I've seen where it's a bunch of first timers joining the team and like winning the finals or whatever. Like yeah. that happens all the time in sport animes, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Brian, I think that's just like one part of the bracket, though. Um, so it might be how many parts of the bracket are there? There's four so, parts, right? I would say yeah, one, two. So 
they'd be oh shit it couldn't be semifinals could it i mean no i I don't know what it is but this is nationals and there's a shit ton of schools so i think that's just one side of the bracket it's just like one corner so there might be like four like four brackets on a side then so yeah maybe but this this is only this is only day two of the tournament so yeah yeah yeah, you're right you're right so i'm guessing uh the nekoma and carson match is gonna decide the the the, their group and yeah. After that, it's quarters and then semis and then final. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get a pretty good idea after this match because I'm assuming they're gonna go over the over the bracket. You would hope at least. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also like how they're kind of speed running this match as well. Like they just jumped into like half into like the like halfway or the halfway point through the second set. Dude, yeah. man, uh, they're just scoring on their asses, man. Yeah. Dude, 14 that, to seven. That, that guy made like ten points in a row. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. They look at the scoreboard and it's like double. I was like, Jesus, dude, what the hell? Yo, if, I, if, I, if I was Carson right now, I'd be so drained of that set. I'm like, bro, just let the win the fucking set. My mental's broken. And they reset uh, the set, dude. I, I, I don't know. I still just don't care about that team that they're facing, though. Like, yeah, uh, it's weird. You guys pretty much covered it. Like, with, like at the end of the episode, with that f- weirdo just flipped. 90 degrees sideways like what it, what <laughs> what secret move is this he has a strong core so that makes him rotate 90 degrees sideways and make apparently I was like, okay i guess apparently they didn't even show the i was like all right whatever yeah i'm just kind of hoping they can just get through this but I, I feel like they're gonna go to the third set though yeah it's gonna be probably the next episode is gonna be third set dude then... did you guys not see that guy that they they previewed at the end of the episode like that guy is obviously the best player on the team because the minute that he shook his card his whole team just looked at him and got scared so but why why would you have your best player on the bench what the what the hell's the point of that it's the uh second round of the tournament i mean why would you show all your cards right i mean cars i mean i think that they like did show their best card right away. i don't know dude like your nationals that's 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 being cocky as hell (laughs) <laughs> no, I mean, I like you have to understand, right? These guys are are the the number two seed, right? They didn't, and Carasuno is kind of like a no name. Like, yeah, they they finally made it to nationals, but like, if if I was this team, I probably wouldn't take them seriously either. Like, why would I go all out against a bunch of scrubs, right? So I don't know. It's it's again like the one like uh, the the previous match where they're just saying, oh, we're just gonna we got them right where they where we want them. We're gonna lose the first set so we can basically set this all up. It's like nobody and nobody would fucking do that. It's it, I don't know if, if that's actually what it is. Cool, I'm gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, again, like their their team is already strong enough. Like you don't need to bring out like your best player right away, and they're like way ahead now, and the team's about to catch up. So yeah, they're at, like set point too. Like why bring them out now? Oh yeah, no, they set, are set at point set point. Point. Yeah, is this set yeah. point? <laughs> yeah, oh, set point. Because remember, because remember that was like okay. I still love the comedy in this show. Like when they first said, "Like okay, look, I'm just gonna set this away," and the guy basically just drills the score, the scoreboard, and then <laughs> like not even, not even close. And then also like, uh, like we you know that was actually a, a funny moment. I thought where he just completely, blew, you know, he completely blew the 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 match point there. But I also thought then the, the match too when uh, Kageyama, where he's just like, "Oh yes, this is calm, Kage, Kageyama." They're just like, "The fuck are you talking about, dude?" <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Like, I still love the com- like just the comedy and just the characters in the show, but just the uh, just the animation and uh, certain parts of this are a little bit brutal. But yeah, yeah, for sure. There's there's a lot of lacking moments, or uh, just this episode is just very lacking. But then the yeah. thing that triggered me the most this episode was when Kageyama was about to serve, right? And they just got out of a timeout, and then the dude spins the ball in his hand, and basically it's a still shot, but the ball is like just spinning in his hand. Like for some reason <laughs> that just triggered me so much. I, I actually thought the same thing during that scene. <laughs> right? It's like what what was the point of that? Like, oh look at this cool animation, guys. I can make a ball spin in this guy's hand. It was like <laughs> my god. They didn't do it, they didn't do just just do it once, they did it twice. Yeah. It, <laughs> so, dude, I don't know. I don't know why that triggered me so much. Like, maybe it's because I was marathoning like like all my shows today, but like there's nothing going on this this episode. They made Nishio uh, like look like really pathetic. And then like when there's about to be something that like when Kage was about to pop off, and like the first half of the show was just really bad animation. Like just the animation of the ball and, and that still shot <laughs> just really triggered me for some reason. 
I, yes. it's like like maybe that's where all their their budget went for the animation for the show. You know, <laughs> go, join oh, wait, me, uh, join wait. me to the dark side. Okay, yeah. so I'm I'm reviewing footage right now at like the weird OIM. Um, uh. <laughs> the score is not even close to the fucking match point, dude. The score, uh, when they bring in that one guy that they tease at the end, yeah, it was. 21-16. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. So they still got time. So that was just bad. Was that just bad subs then? Because they well, said match point in the subs. Or set, set point. Set point. I don't think oh. it's set point, dude. From what I'm looking mm. at, so the, the image I'm looking at, they're still in the middle of a play. And it was mm. like whatever point I said to 15. Yeah. And then Carson scores a point. So I'm guessing it's like like 21-16. That point. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because they well, made a block. Yeah. And after the block, they're like, oh, shit. And then they bring in their bench player. So okay, they're so probably was... bringing in the bench player to say, all right, let's end the set and start the next set going. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you I know. think they're going go to go the, to the third set. Oh, for sure, yeah. But if they go to the third set, though, I don't know if they're going to finish another match after that, then. Uh, I mean, that's why I'd say it will make sense for Nekoma to be, like, the last school that they play because of... Yeah, I don't even think they're having enough... I don't even know if they're going to have enough time to play Nekoma, though. What do you Well, mean? that's the thing. I don't know how they're going to end the series, right? Because he's like sure season five. Do you think they okay? So they don't, there's only six episodes left this season. Dude, that's and plenty. Then, of, yeah, they got plenty of time. So they're probably gonna finish up this match next episode and then start like do a reset episode. The one after that, so that's two. They have four more and then they start the next match. The only way I would see that though is if they actually finish this match in the second set. There's no way they're gonna do it. In the, like they're no way like unless unless they decide to speed run it even more. If they finish this, they'll probably speed run it hard. If they finish this in this set, that that'll be surprising. Taylor, I, have been... I have no 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 idea. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I'm not really much of a predicting type. Like I don't really like to predict these things that much, so I don't think that. I think it's fun. Probably because you're a filthy manga reader. You probably already read it. <laughs> you just don't want to. Talk. I have I have not read any of the Haikyuu manga. Thank you very much. Right now, mm-hmm. I'm just currently blasting through Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay. Right. Are you All reading right. that? Nice. Yeah, she's oh, yeah. running it. Nice. She's, yeah. uh, she's joined Peter. Sorry, Brian. Go ahead. My uh, my predictions is they finish up second set like within the first five minutes of next episode, and then they blow through the next episode. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you're gonna introduce some uh, like badass guy like they did at the end of the episode. Hey, and just man. have him. The way, have him the, way this season, the direction that this season's going right now, uh, it's like whatever. I can see it going. <laughs> away, but let's hope I'm wrong. Oh uh, fuck you, Peter. <laughs> Oh god, yeah. <laughs> that, that's all I got for this. Peter, get your bitch ass on here. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's all. That's all I really got. I think uh, we definitely overkilled this this one. Yeah, I'm good. All right, so I guess that'll be it for IQ. If only we had Peter on to defend himself, but you're not. So get fucked. So I was hoping that Sasha would get on. So that means you transition nice to Fire Force. Uh, I guess we'll wait a little bit longer. So we'll go on next to um, Higurashi. Oh man! So and, this. Um, <laughs> oh, I just want to say it. So it, David. I I finally caught up to Higurashi. So nice. Let me just okay. rewind to because I last time I talked was episode three. So episode four was the one where Reina killed him. Okay, it was really weird. The thing that stuck out to me is like when Rika talked to Keiichi. And, like, she told him, oh, hey, like, all the things you think about Reyna, it's all in your head, you know? Like, don't think of her like that. And I'm just like, wait, why? That just make well, that would make things worse, wouldn't it? And then he still died anyway, so I was I was really confused. Like, what good was that to, t- to tell him? Like, he, like, at least, I guess, like, he would have killed her instead, but I don't understand how, like, him living and her dying made any... Why that change was important. So that was episode four. Then episode five was, um thing about about Mion and like her split personality thing that you guys are mentioning and then also like the end of episode five again that was like it was it was all normal until the end when like uh he get got into that run with like the the three like biker gang and then all the townspeople mm-hmm. started focusing in that's the part when i remember you guys were mentioning that i remember i was like wait what the fuck is this <laughs> and creeped me out just like it higurashi usually does and then we move on to this episode and we all get debated well, I mean, me and Koo, because Taylor knows what's going to happen. But me and Koo got debated. She actually has a fucking twin what, sister. She's real? 
too. Just like you just <laughs> you just look at her like she's real, guys. She's real. That's, but, that's why I had some fun with you guys last week when you were like, "Oh no, man, that was cool. That was all cool." Personality. It was... <laughs> no, because they 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 tricked you. They they tricked you in the show, right? Like even even uh, like Rena didn't know that she had a twin sister. Yeah. And then yeah. these are all the kids that go to like the same school, like a yeah. K twelve. How do you school. not know that? Yeah. So like, is she a twin sister? If she is, why isn't she going to school? Like, what's what's up with that? Like, this, why is it that she appeared now? And this episode too. Um, uh, Shion mentioned that like uh, like that Mion was the one that brought he, she brought the lunch to him, and then uh, so there was a part where she, yeah, she, Mion she did lie about being her sister at certain points. So like again, more more tricking of the like to, of the audience. So so yeah. great. <laughs> and then yeah, I don't know, like I, I, you just don't know who to trust anymore. But it, it's, it's just really weird. I mean, it was, it was like a nice twist, right? But I don't. I gotta add to you, I, like I'm, I'm more attracted to Shion than I am to Mion. Like just the personality, and then you can kind of tell by maybe it's the voice too. But she does have a different VA. I think, so. she, yeah, yeah, it sounds different. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm. Just, uh, I have nobody to be attracted to in this show. So unless I wanted to go for Keiichi. Like the about, Do they? Have- you, got, you got Keiichi, you got that photographer, you have the detective. <laughs> okay, I see. Dude, corrected. like, <laughs> uh, was it the the nurse and 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 Shion. Man, they're both so sus. They're so sus. Like, dude, I do not remember the nurse acting that crazy. Like in the original, she was uh, like, yeah. I mean, like the first the first <laughs> arc when like when the photographer guy he disappeared with the nurse. That was already mm-hmm. sus, and now it's like you two are so sus right now. But like, I feel like the nurse is more sus because, because yeah, she definitely has something to do with like disappearance of the photographer, the first arc, and then the way that she, uh, Shion is acting too, like just the way that she's hiding all these things from Keiichi and trying like and trying to trigger her twins, her twin, and then like try and get him into involved in all this, like it's so sus. I mean, that's that's how you get the mob mentality thing going, right? Yeah, I agree. I don't really have any sort of hint. I, f- I feel like elements of this, if not most of it, was in the original. But I right. was so freaking confused this entire arc in the original. Like, I-, I could not make sense of what of like what to focus on. And so I think a lot of the details for me are mixed in my head. But um, yeah, the nurse definitely uh, wasn't. If she if she's guilty of something, she is the worst at lying about it or trying <laughs> mm-hmm. to cover it up because she definitely reeks of evil. Yeah. And like, I wonder if this is a. I wonder, like, this is a constant thing because maybe this is why uh, the nurse and the camera guy they disappeared from arc one, right? Because mm-hmm. they did notice that they were together during the festival, and then after the festival, they disappeared. So it would make sense that if they were to try to break into it during that time frame as well, and they got caught mm-hmm. or something, that's why they would disappear. So I guess they're trying to give you like like tidbits of what is actually consistent throughout all timelines, and mm-hmm. what could have happened to like certain characters. So that's uh, what you'd think. Yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of just grasping the straws here. I don't know. It's it's hard because like when they do separate routes, it's so hard to know like what is like. Because mm. anything, ha- any changes can happen in any of the routes when you reset it, so it's hard to like to say just because it happens in what where things are similar. So I can't really, right. I can't really say it just because they disappear this time that that um that it be consistent through the rest of the arcs. I mean, I would I would imagine that there has to be some kind of uh, consistent plot because otherwise, how do you really tie together all these different timelines, right? Well, because like in visual novels, like it's just they're all different routes. So, like no, it, I mean, I, I get that. I get the visual novels, but this this is an anime, so I would imagine that they would have to kind of tie it together to come to like a final episode. They're right. They're the way they're adapting it is like it's like it's just the visual novel style of, of anime. Like there's there's been other visual novel there's other animes of visual novels where like they like where they just go through all the different girls and like that's and you get one ending for each route and that's it there's like no like final I, episode for all the routes so i've talked about this before but it, who is more right on the money with this one oh, because okay. like yeah the routes are the routes are kind of like told through the different girls but i i mean i don't know where this season is gonna go but that doesn't even always line up perfectly either mm-hmm. um 
it, I mean, right now, you know, you have like the Rena arc. Now we're going through like the Mion Shion arc, but it won't always be that cut and dry. I would assume we'll see. Right. Um, and I mean, there, there, there was still like a finale that tied all of the different arcs together in the previous seasons. So, yeah, I mean, I'll, it's kind I'll, of just I'll like kind a mix of, of both. Yeah. Okay, I mean, so I guess that this show has it. Like, it's like not not every. It doesn't usually happen with animes that adopt visual novels. They don't usually have a final thing, unless it, usually maybe it's like a final pro like epilogue. But it's not always mm-hmm. guaranteed. So I wasn't sure for this the show. So yeah, so I, I guess, don't know. It might have been the way that the visual novel was set up too. Like maybe the visual novel just followed a different path. I mean, I really should play it just to see. But one day. So yeah, one we'll day. see. Hmm. Anybody else got anything else for this? Um, I just episode? remember at the end, just how like yeah, Mion, she really wanted like Keiichi to see what's in like that storehouse, and and then she also said to it because she's like a member of the Sonozaki family, like she should know what's in it. So I wonder if she has like mm-hmm. some some grudge or like family, like like family feud against like uh, Rika's family, or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. So. But she's just so oh. suspicious of like, it's just, I don't know. I mean, it's it's for me, it's kind of hard because I'm I'm really biased here, right? Like, I'm really hoping that Shion's actually a good character, and then she's <laughs> just trying to invite Keiichi over to like, like uh, to be part of the village, right? In a sense, because then uh, she did mention earlier, like that's why all those town folks was like gaining up on those three market gains is because if you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. So that's like the positive thing of mob mentalities, right? Like you're. You're part of a giant family, so they're protecting you in a sense. Yeah. But mm-hmm. good luck, good luck getting out once you're in. So, <laughs> um, like I, I'd imagine, like because this the show does, like like you mentioned earlier, like they do tonal shifts so well. Like with every episode, it's it's never like they don't they don't drop a beat. Everything's like uh, like it meshes well uh, to the point where you don't really like lose sight of the story, and it adds a lot of different contrast to. Um, to the episode like with this episode where uh, like uh with shion and keich was walking home right they come across mm-hmm. the board game shop and they see that doll mm-hmm. and then like it gets dark real quick and then they go inside and you know you get that twist that oh yeah like like me and shion like they're they're actual swiss sisters they're not just like a split, split personality and then they they have this like happy go lucky vibe like she was like oh yeah it was a prank it was me all along and like it was it was like a nice vibe right so mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I'm kind of hoping that with the next episode, maybe they'll do the same thing where Shion's just like, yeah, uh, like psych, it was just a joke. Like there's nothing here. Like it's not as like crazy or dangerous as you think it is. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, man. I don't. They're, it's they're always surprising me. So I it's don't know. the night of the festival, so I don't see much good happening at the night. So right, but uh, again, like I like for me, it's it's still like like iffy right it's 50 50 i don't know if although i just i kind of have a feeling like even though Shion's the most suspicious it feels like Mion's gonna be the one that goes crazy like she's gonna be the one that tries to stab keichi or something right because <laughs> Shion hasn't actually lied or hidden anything she, she's actually been very open about everything mm-hmm. Mion's the one that's kind of like been hiding everything yeah. from keichi Man, are you kidding me? Shion was acting so sus this whole episode. <laughs> you when? Were like, oh, yeah, when? When? You... Ex- explain like, to me what? this. What? When? Huh? <laughs> like, just when they're uh, who, talking about... Who, like, gets this attached to somebody and, so... like, hangs out with their sister's school friend and, like, brings them food? That's from previous episodes, but it seems really weird to me that she's coming on so strong. And then in this episode, like, she's so pushy with him. And she keeps on acting like she's so knowing about things. And then she, like, pushed him to walk into the woods with her to go look at a creepy dark cabin and watch other people doing God knows what. I mean, she definitely... Okay, hey, so... Kind of... she's, a, she's an assertive girl, so I don't see what's wrong with that. <laughs> I'm and not then... saying there's anything wrong with being assertive. I'm just uh, saying. And if you really think about it, right, he's probably the only guy in the village that's of the same age group. So when you're, we're, we're talking about, like, shipping... <laughs> human detective right <laughs> like there's really not much options to work with so maybe that's why she wants first dibs on a first prime uh bachelor you know what i'm saying so okay so yeah, i'll say know. so i'll just say um the thing about like her being like 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 lovey lovey with kg it's like i can kind of see that because like i think she was just messing she was messing with him and she wanted to know this guy that her sister keeps talking about all the time I think she was being mm-hmm. playful, so I can understand that. That part that doesn't bother me. But the most suspicious part was like when they brought up the curse, 
Like, mm-hmm. or even before that, like when when Mion wanted to leave, like she really didn't want to have the curse mentioned because it really bothered her. And like mm-hmm. she, she, Shion was the one that kept pushing it. She wanted to tell Keiichi about it, and that was that was really suspicious. And then like later on during the festival, and she she pulled Keiichi out of the festival, and she she sounded like she knew that the photographer and the nurse were gonna break into that that storehouse. And then like and then she also mentioned too, she like she sounds like she knows what's in it, and she wants Keiichi to see it. So that's that's the part that's suspicious to me. No, but then she's explained everything along the way, like with the no, whole that's, that's like, just, like she knows like, way with, too with much. The whole, Right. No, of course, because she says at the end, like she's part of the Sonozaki family, so of course she knows what's inside or have ideas. But she wants Keiichi to see it for herself. So, like, like just, I was saying earlier, suspicious. she wants she wants Keiichi to be part of the group, and then, like, in a sense, she's kind of testing the guy, right? Well, like, see if he's like worthy of joining. But but they're with like the nurse and the photographer who've been so suspicious before, so it's hard. So you, you have to associate the, the suspicion of that too. Right, right. So, and then with that, like, my argument to that is, uh, you know how she was talking about how if you go against the village, that's when they come after you, like the people who are building the dam. Um, if I remember correctly, the, the camera guy is kind of like an outsider. I, I want to assume that maybe the nurse is an outsider, too. And if you would try to tie this with the first arc, you know, they did disappear. So so maybe what happened, right, without KG there, they broke into the, the, the shrine, and then Shion was there. She found out. And then she used her magical like village powers to summon a mob, and then like, like, uh, kidnap them or kill them, and then like hit them in that shed. And then now that Kichi's there, like he's going to help Shion do that because I'm assuming that the camera guy and the nurse is is going to disappear again with this arc too. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Just, I don't buy like Shion being this like this. I don't know this good character that you make out make her out to be like. I mean, she's so suspicious. I mean, like I said, I I'm a little biased. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm a little biased, and I'm working with what I got. But like, at least you're, with you're me, it was sipping fun. hard, sir. <laughs> this ain't sipping. You know nothing about <laughs> sipping. But no, like with with what we've known for the past two episodes, like at least she's been like open and honest about everything. But Mion hasn't, so it would make me believe that Mion is the one that's uh, that has something hidden, or that's something that's gonna like like she's gonna do something right sinister. That's that's the vibe I'm getting. So, I mean, yeah, I do, yeah, I, I do get the feeling that Mion might be the one that actually kills, like, Keiichi, but I just, it doesn't, I still think that Shion's suspicious. She's, she might know, like, that Mion's gonna, like, get triggered or whatever, and, like, do all that, so that's, that's still suspicious to me, like, like, it just doesn't, it sounds like, even if she's, like, even if she has other plans, it doesn't sound, like, it just sounds so suspicious, like, I can't, like, not associate, associate that with her. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, I guess we'll see. I think the next episode is going to be the, the tell-all episode, right? I'd, I'd assume. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Next uh, episode. I think that we might have a little bit longer than that. Because uh, the first arc was four episodes, and I think there were only two episodes in, so we might need two more episodes. Yeah, I would think we need at least two episodes. Well, I mean, I suppose. But with how they ended this episode, I would assume that this is the climax. So from here, everything is going to just like resolve itself or showcase itself, I'm assuming. We'll see. I mean, I, like, there's definitely parts that I remember, and it might have been in, like, a separate, like, second continuation of this arc. I can't remember. But, like, the whole story that connects with this definitely needs at least two more episodes at some point. I think it's right now. Yeah. But, um, because it's it's a pretty crazy road. (laughs) Because I assume, like, next episode is, like, is when Neon gets, starts going crazy, and you start seeing one of the tonal shifts of like Keiichi start being afraid of her, and then I think mm-hmm. that's over after that is when like she starts killing like Keiichi or whatever. Right. If you ever, ever going twi- going off like what happened in the first arc with Reina. Yeah, and then plus whenever you add twins to horror story, it's always like kind of scary to me because you don't know which one's which. Like, are you the crazy one? Are just, you the good one? Like, because, you won't know until you get stabbed. Just right? because of the Shining <laughs> Man, you have to like carry that with you the whole time, every time. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Even though they're not I mean, little girls, but still, dude, I don't know. For little girls, they're uh, they're, they're pretty um, well endowed. If, if no, I'm I'm, I'm saying like compared, compared to the Shining, but whatever. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know the age of these people. Uh, like, it's not like they're in middle who school. Who is simping hard? <laughs> Bro, I don't know. It's just some. Maybe it's the VA. I don't know. But 
yeah. Or maybe it was that yeah. cat, the, the cat cafe outfit or whatever. I, I, the yeah, start, that was the, something else. And then the, the scene at the end with the customer, I was like, oh god. Oh my god, I was, I was laughing so hard at that part when when she had to Dude, you know, when he was like he was like shaking, so <laughs> shaking his junk in front so of her. <laughs> I was like, I was laughing that part, and then when Casey got his ass whooped, I was like, I was laughing even harder. Yeah, Dude, you can't he even... got knocked out. He got knocked up by no taco weed, know, bro. Right. That's so that's sad. sad. <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> Like yeah. Keiichi yeah. probably like walks and does more exercise than this other guy. He still got his ass whooped. <laughs> yep, know. that was a good scene. I think that was new. It was well placed. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, I don't have yeah. anything else for this. Just waiting to see where it goes. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good too. So. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for Higurashi. And we got Sasha on, so got to have you. We're gonna jump on to Fire Force. A show that you've been looking forward to every week, I know. Dude, it is beyond words how amazing this show is. It's like, you know when you stare at a fire and you're at a camp and it warms you from the inside out? This show does nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. You could, you could say this episode was better than the last few. No, this episode was okay, but yeah. nothing more, really nothing less. That's fair. You sounded so excited in our in our group chat about watching Fire Force every week. <laughs> oh, dude, Lato, man, you gotta pray. <laughs> dude, is Brian caught up? Please tell me he's caught up. I am. Yeah, Brian. Oh Ooh. shit! And your thoughts? Um, Ogan is still one of the best characters I've ever seen. Dude, I love his power. Wait, Wait. Oh, Ogan? Airbender. What airbender? Ogun. Oh, yeah, black, black, black airbender. Oh, right, right. Yeah, airbender. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really see airbending, but... I see an airbender. Yeah, I don't really see it, but... Dude, because he has those arrows all over his body, doesn't he? I guess. I guess. But I, I was still see airbending <laughs> with an airbender, not just the tattoos. That makes him That makes him the avatar, bro, not an airbender. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what that means. I haven't watched the show. <laughs> No. Get that makes him the FedEx here, delivery Get out of here. Yeah. You don't want to no more. <laughs> just ruining our childhood just like that. Yeah, forget your childhood. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, this, uh, it was actually interesting to see, like, I, I, it kind of, like, floors me that we didn't actually know her backstory yet. But, that, like, for some reason, there's been so many episodes, I just assume we know everybody's backstories. But then when they just, like, kind of bring it up, it's like, oh, yeah, that's right. We don't actually know what's going on. Um... I think her, that's her part dad of the problem also, with the show. That, that could be it, too. Uh, the, her dad seems badass, too, even though uh, I have no idea what this guy does. I assume mm-hmm. everybody that's in like the military are basically just people who don't have like abilities. I think they're just... Uh, uh, that, or do, it, I, do we know that yet? No, or no? I think you're just making assumptions, friend. Just, just yeah. making assumptions? Okay, yeah. gotcha. Because, because the Maki, Maki had it, but then that's she was in the military before, and then she went to the... That's uh, true, that's true. Yeah. Well, at the same time, I feel like when she was in the military, she was just like a poster girl. She didn't actually do anything. Yeah. So I feel like she like wanted to use her powers for actually something. She actually wanted to do stuff, but the dad said no. Right. <laughs> she got a princess here. Well, actually, yeah. didn't say no, but then um, not until he actually found out that she was in danger. Mm-hmm. But what's weird is like, why did they just? Why did they? So why did they stop going to the nether, the nether like nether realm or another? Um, like what was the reason why they, they just it, stopped? They, they made it sound like it's a restricted area, so you need like permission or like you oh. know search warrant to get in. So, but I know I know parts collect. Oh, no, 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 not oh no, no, never mind. That was like the, the great cataclysm or whatever that where it cl- like, parts collapsed. Yeah. Right, right. Um, but hey, you okay. know that's why they got the men in black. They just go there for no reason. Hey guys, let's just randomly we got this character that's supposed to be another character's brother. So let's just have them go on a really dangerous mission that makes no sense whatsoever in the context of our story which you know that part was actually somewhat interesting because you're like okay it's somebody else it's fresh they're going to another the kkk has suicide bombers now so it, <laughs> yeah that was uh something but this is what i'm saying guys shows have to have consequences you jump in front of your boy to take a bomb that's like Maybe six feet away from you, right? If you can catch the coronavirus from six feet, dude, that bomb <laughs> should, should be doing more than just giving you an eye patch, man. I know, right? <laughs> what are you talking about? He has a couple of broken bones. Yeah, you, know, like you, know, I, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna say something. I was gonna say something, but you know, I'm just gonna leave it. That that's good. That's good. <laughs> 
Yeah, I love how all his injuries are internal. When this was external, man, his skin should have been burned off. <laughs> <laughs> but he got minor Just, burns. Oh, thanks. Yeah, for minor you. burns from a suicide bomber. Yeah. <laughs> Only real life is that way. You know how it's rad? Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Go in front of like some C4 and just. I'm sure, <laughs> Ku, you could tell us all about like all the military training you had about the dangers of these. these yeah, there's a special bombs. squad. For, there's just a special squad for that. Uh, I'm not part of that group. <laughs> and I sure as hell ain't going in there with like a suit and coming out unscathed or in like alive in a sense, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I love how it's, like, the most restricted thing in the whole city. Like, they're like, don't mess with that. We had the whole fire brigade brigade go down there. And, you know, they came out just barely due to some random things happening. But you two guys in your black suits and your (laughs) flashlights. Yeah, it just goes on. And a pistol. (laughs) All they had was a pistol. Dude, the military is so useless in this world. Like, they had no powers whatsoever. What did they think they are going to do? Right? I don't know, but... That's a terrible judgment. That's the problem with the show. Like, man, I, I don't know why, but every time I noticed Tamaki had uh, purple eyes, I kept thinking of Hunter Hunter, where, uh, what's his name? Kurapika. Kurapika's like, entire family was hunted down because their eyes were so precious. I'm like, man, you guys could have had a cool backstory like that for her. Like, she's unique. This eye color is a significance. Nope. Let's just make her dad some weirdo and... The whole family has pretty much bipolar disorder, but they don't get any medical attention for it. (laughs) Basically, again, just this author just just struggling with a comedy. Like, yeah, it's uh, I mean, like I said, it was it was watchable. I didn't feel like at any point turning it off, but uh, well, besides the beginning, where Charles, oh my gosh, but I guess you just got to accept it. Like, I Um, thought the comedy was was fairly well placed. Sorry, Sasha, go ahead. I I I didn't like. I thought it was too, it is... too forced. Language went on too long. Uh, Go ahead. I, I I think the like maybe again maybe just my the degeneracy talking here, but I, I enjoyed the first half, right? Like uh, the humor and then like Maki's backstory. Didn't really care much for the later half when they met the second uh, second fire brigades. Oh that yeah. Later, oh yeah. The guy that was like had his head stuck in the ceiling for yeah, some reason. I, I yep. didn't really get that. I, you but, know, yeah. nobody did. Yeah, but <laughs> I thought I thought like the split personalities. I thought the family, the backstory, like up until the part where like they sent her brother and the other guy down there to yep. investigate this shit, and then they got blown up, but everyone was okay. Like I thought from that point on, it was kind of stupid. But but I like how like they they ended up like uh, walking to the port with like the bugs, and, it's, and the, the, it was just like some normal guy that was there. It was nobody like special that was actually watching them or anything. Mm-hmm. It was just it was just. That was just really bad. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's two random guys, first time going to another. Oh, they just happened to stumble upon one of the biggest secrets of the KKK. And, you know, you know, there's a bomb underground. Nothing crumbles. Nobody gets crushed. These guys just come out. This guy's like, hey, man, you really stepped in there for me. He's like, yeah, I did, boy. <laughs> You're like, oh, gosh. So <laughs> generic. So <laughs> generic. Um, if that was me, dude, I, I would have made this show like that guy's leg would have been broken going through his skin and everything. Like, ah, help me. And then, like a piece of rubble just crushed his body. <laughs> and then his friend gets out just in time. But there's another suicide bomber just waiting for him. <laughs> oh, it, it would have been brutal. I thought and then Tom. Tama- uh, go ahead. Sorry, I was just going on a random rant. But no, you go ahead. Too. No, I, was I thought at the very least that her brother would be like, you know, in a coma or like knocked out and. It'd be this really tense moment with with Maki, like having to deal with her brother, like, or just like that. Yeah. Like just like it'd be, yeah. I thought I thought we we're actually gonna go for it. This super tense moment with her brother, you know, in danger, and no, they just play it off. So, like you guys were just saying. So, yeah. yeah, it was back. It's back to like the rocket guy, like when they were in China, and basically where you think this oh, guy just God, got directly part hit, two, yeah, and he yep. somehow was not hit by it at all. Terrible. <clears throat> yeah. I think what should have happened is this guy loses all his limbs and his hair, and he's embarrassed about that. So Tamaki has to shave her head and gives him her hair. That would have been a cool character development moment. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was the make or break? Yep. That was, that, just, just imagine how emotional that would have been. And then the episode, they're like, guys, we're going to have to do this mission without Tamaki. And it just zooms into her bald head. And then <laughs> clip, boom. How much better would that have been, guys? Come on. It would have been uh, different. 
You know, if I had to keep you or the intern, I might keep the intern. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to go with Sash. I believe in you, Sash. <laughs> yes. Thank you, David. $28 no dollar check. Split it with you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be one of those people who says, you know, like, I can write better than this. You got to be the one to go out and actually do it and then make yourself more successful. So, yeah. More power to you. Believe it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say it was it was all right. I, I, obviously, I'm exaggerating, but it was a. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, we we get something interesting out of this mm -hmm. next arc. But yeah, yeah, they're they're going back to the Nether. Or the Nether Realm, Nether World, Nether. 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 You just call it yeah. Nether, even though it's okay. the Tokyo subway lines. Hey, hey, <laughs> it's the Nether, right? You treat it with respect. Yeah. It's dangerous, down there. <clears throat> so they're going back to it. They're gonna be. I'm assuming running back. They're gonna be running into like the like. The big guys again, and they're just gonna somehow break apart again and just run away. Nothing will be done, really. Uh, I'm just assuming that it's gonna just keep happening. It's just gonna happen again. <clears throat> How many episodes do we have left? Because this is probably gonna be the last arc, I think. Probably six. Six. Episodes? Yeah. yeah. Maybe six or, six or seven, seven. I don't remember. So. Yeah. Maybe maybe two. Because I don't know if because yeah, like the arc maybe, they have maybe like maybe this episodes. arc, and then hopefully we get one final arc that'll blow it out. So. That's yeah, like set up that's something nice or better. That's that's asking for a lot. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, they're, the, the, the endings of like, um, because the end of the first season I thought was actually really good. Um, I thought it was actually like really interesting, even like the logic and everything they were well, pulling out of their ass was just, the of that, I, was, I was having fun with it. The end of the first season was at the nether when they had to fight with yeah. Shiro. So, yep. I don't know if yep. we're gonna get it again this season. It, uh, round two of Shin Rivers is probably gonna be show now, yeah. <laughs> so but it, it could also be kind of like um uh it could be like the first season though like where that, that was like the final arc but then like the last episode was when he was fighting uh burns, oh, burns. yeah because it could be something like that because the fight is in the opening <laughs> so who knows you actually pay attention this time <clears throat> yeah well yeah i remember it from um because what can i when i skip the opening i always end up seeing that like that ending part so mm. <clears throat> yeah I, I don't know where they're gonna go i feel like Last season, at least you could say you got a sense of things building up to a certain point. This season feels really disjointed. Like, I love the Joker stuff, but that also came out of left field. And they just keep hopping around. So they introduce the fifth pillar. They avoid her for like 10 episodes, bring her back for a moment. They introduce this child molester guy who has a kid that likes being beaten and he likes weaklings. Now he's kind of... Then they introduce the babysitter, and they do nothing with that whole angle. And now we get Tamaki's backstory. I just think it seems like the order and the sequence of this storytelling, it just feels very, very off. Yeah. Um, I was going to say exactly anything, but that's that's not what's I've been, what I've been feeling this whole season, too. Yeah, And also, I should mention, too, yeah. it's, it's, it's Maki. Tamaki is the, uh, the, the girl that... The annoying that, one. That... Oh, it's, I, yeah. I know it's very confusing because they both sound so similar. Yeah, way too, way too close. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I don't have much faith now because you have six episodes left. You have this presumed mission back to the Nether without Maki. It it's hard to see this turning out well, but I don't know. Last season they did a good job of heightening the situation. You yeah. went from um, them going into the Nether to them fighting against uh what's the name show and everybody and you're like whoa this is pretty intense and there was powers being unlocked i just don't know what to expect because the show hasn't really built up to anything so mm, eh. yeah I, f I feel the same way like i'm not i'm not excited for, <laughs> for the end of the season like just just nothing to keep me like anticipating so yep damn yeah. <laughs> That's basically what I got. Basically, Brian. This, this, uh, go ahead, Brian. If Brian wants to say anything. I guess not, okay. Brian. Well, what? Sorry, what? <laughs> Bro, I was like, just, we're at our last thoughts about Fire Force. How do you think the season's going to end? Are you excited? Are you not? Uh, are you... How many episodes are there? Uh, honestly, I thought the ending of the last episode was fucking hilarious. Oh my god. The one with uh, the that duel was between. So fucking hilarious. <laughs> the assault I was dying the entire time that was happening. Oh my god. Wait, what, what happened? What? Uh, what? What's her name? Maki? Ma Tamaki. 
Tamaki, it was like her duel against like, oh, right, the right. assassin guy. I was oh, fire blast? Fucking, yeah. yeah. I was dying. I thought it was good too. <laughs> that show wow. was so funny because wow. this man's like, I've been training since our last encounter. I was like, oh shit, it's an OP ass motherfucker coming back. And she's like, has trouble with her. He just, yeah, just can't handle it. Yeah, well, just well, there's there's right. our audience that we've been wondering about for so long. <laughs> Who is this comedy for? <laughs> That's so Fucking true. Fucking Brian. Oh my lord. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just that one part. I was I was laughing pretty hard. Overall, uh, it's going downhill. I think its peak was when they were fighting the. Um, I think it like peaked a couple of times. The first peak was when they're at the first. Um, uh, Amaterasu generator thing, and then they're going through that thing. That was pretty good. Then um, mm. the the dual fight with the mop guy and fucking Joker. That was dope. <laughs> mop guy, yep. come on, Benny Maru. <laughs> yeah, that was dope, dude. Mop. That was fucking mop fuck, guy. Fucking Strad has infected your vocabulary as well. Yeah, yeah, mop yeah. guy for five hundred, please. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually, I mean, I think the the show is trending like back back upwards at least. For uh, oh. I don't think anything can be as bad as like the previous arc. Oh, ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah, don't say that, bro. Okay, We've I had don't fucking a mole with a man. scarf. <laughs> he just hates that mole. He hates the that mole. mole. Awesome. The mole what do you mean? Bad, I love bro. that mole. Bro, the mole is the worst. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh god, he's a Dude, the mole was the best. Of all time. Dude, how was he the? He's like that annoying yeah. neighbor. Who asks you how to do his taxes and you tell him once and he comes back like four times after that. And you're like, dude, the hell, man. I don't got time for this. I mean, that's what happens when you help people one time, man. They just keep asking. I know. You give them an inch, they want a mile. And I just want to give this guy a knife to the throat. (laughs) (laughs) That poor mole. Oh, good. let's, Let's look at it. You had the mole. You had the babysitter with her weird. I don't even remember how her toys dolls whatever they were how they worked um it, the fart thing or whatever it was they're oh. just oh. <laughs> oh yeah the lows have been really low this season it's kind of depressing so yeah we'll see we'll see i'm still holding out I, I got hope because season one ended so well and season two has had some highs but oh boy it's it's <laughs> it's getting hard out here again we're almost at the end of the season though almost there man again, almost there. I say this every week, man. I just wish the show was more consistent. <laughs> so. if, it, if it makes you feel better, Sasha, you're almost a month away from uh, uh, Attack, Attack on Titan. Titan. That's what I was oh, it, just about to say. Like, it, this is just his stopgap before Attack on Titan yeah. it consumes does. his life. That is. <laughs> I just picture myself turning into a giant Titan and raging every time I turn on Fire Force and then slowly <laughs> cooling off steam off my body. <laughs> oh, man. Already then. then. Uh, that's yeah. Who's yeah. like, I feel the same way, but I can't say it on air. Who, who hasn't watched the Tiger Fight? <laughs> Bro, he's watched it. He just dropped it, remember? Yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah. What, does that count then? It does. Yeah, yeah. I see once. Did you really least. drop it? I dropped it halfway through season two. Oh, you gotta finish season two, man. Season two is like the worst season. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> the, his, the Historia arc. We all really did not like the Historia arc. Wow, you guys. That's just terrible. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. I'm telling you, man. If you finish season two, just, just push your way through it. Like you push away all those other bad animes. Guys, I'm you want me to go all. you want me to go through a whole season of shit just to get oh, through actually, the actually what you can do episodes. is wait for the wait for the two like recap movies to come out and just watch those. Three <laughs> hour binge, easy clap. <laughs> wow. I'll uh, well, see. We'll see. Guys, I'm biting into your napes when you're sleeping. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yep. Napes of our neck. Oh, okay. Yep. Attack on Titan reference. That's, That's how it rolls. Yes, I don't know what you're talking about, David. I knew that. I, I I'm uh I'm like the biggest fan of Attack on Titan. I've watched yeah. We just hear like Fred's keyboard to <laughs> Nape. What is Nape? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to silence myself. Oh. Damn it. It's okay. Ask me this guy ask me this next week. I'll be ready for okay, it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So, you know, Fire Force, it's there. It's, anyway, it's a Friday yeah. show. It's yeah. there yeah. until yeah. Attack on Titan. That's right. Yeah. So for Sasha, at least, like me, Ku, and Strainers, we're gonna commit to finishing this just because we've been here so far. I am. That's how we do it in this podcast. So. Sasageo, Sasageo. 
for Bro. you. That's for you, Johan. Oh, God. All right, yeah, so <clears throat> that's going to be it for Fire Force. Um, I think what's next is uh, Damachi. Yeah. Yes. So, Damachi. Yeah. Johan, just a heads up. Sasuke sucks. Okay, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, man. We all we all know that. Ooh. So. Ooh. Uh, but uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so Brian, since uh, your thoughts on Damachi's like so far this season? Uh, meh. Fucking serious? Yeah, that's really meh. Yeah, dude. I think like hmm. I think all of us have liked the season so I like far, the right? Season. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It just doesn't compare. I just keep comparing it to like his very first bull encounter, you know. I suppose. I mean, it's like it's definitely way, way better the well, second season, though. It's because like this season, like there's no huge action moments. It's very, it's very plot focused, and like yeah, uh, that's what I miss, man. I miss right. him, like going balls to the wall. I feel like there's just a one time thing for first season. Like I don't know. No, yeah, no, the first the first, yet, and that's what I'm yeah. looking forward to. You know, no, but then the, the first season had a lot of like tension points, right? This one, it's just been a lot of lore driven stuff. So. That's what I like. Yeah. That's like what I like the most. So that's why I'm enjoying this more. I mean, right, no, I, me I like it too. But I, I get what Brian's saying. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like the story building is very good for the anime as like a whole. Surprisingly, this season, yeah. And I, I think it's cool. Like it was the interconnecting of monsters and the humans, and like the whole like politics behind it. It's like yeah, cool. And then, like, there's like, also been a lot more serious tones as well um, this season than what they've had. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I don't know, man. Like sometimes when I look at like some of the animation that's happening, it's like, what the fuck is going on? Like I remember like the scene where like the red lizard dude is running away, and is there just a giant red block and like two circles for his shoulders? This like, is JC staff, sir. I was like, what the fuck? So you can't have too high of uh, animation with them. Like uh, it's uh, can't have too high of hopes. Yeah, I guess. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, That's why I'm so mad about it. It's like a lot of it's a lot of talking. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't uh, notice any of these animations at all. I'm just like trying I, to listen for the story. I know what Brian's talking about. I I, I, I kind of noticed it, but like the story, like just like the story and My everything. Favorite studio, Australian really and JC staff. The one, yeah, I know. Which is which is actually shockingly that I, like the reason why like I actually don't hate this season. Um, the. One thing though that I'm still kind of wondering about was with Ryu, where she had the she actually had the eye. Oh, like the so key, I'm wondering if yeah. she was a yeah. So I'm assuming she must have been a part of that group somehow, or if she. Another thought I was also thinking like maybe she killed somebody that had it and then she just kept it. No, because you, you have to remember, uh, her her original. Oh, she was familia, used to be part of it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. No, no, her original family was killed by the evilest group. So oh. When she went back for revenge, she must have gotten it from one of the guys she killed. And then she's kept it ever since. She should have so, just followed Bell. But uh, I she's mean, no plot, stronger. Right. But then plot armor, like, of course, she has like the perfect item you need to get to this secret room. So, <laughs> just, yeah. That was course. probably the only thing in the, in the episode that kind of bothered me. Like, oh, he just happened to have it. Ryu just happened to have it as well on her. Yeah. And like, it's but, for the specific door. Yeah. But I was thinking about that, though. But I also just kind of assumed like there must have been a, like actually a reason that we just don't know about it yet. But then again, like, you just kind of cleared it up where her family was, her family, or like her. Familia. Was it family or race? Familia, Familia. was killed was killed by them. So I assume that she must have got it from some like found it right. or got it off of somebody. Um, but also, Brian, I was gonna say like next episode seems like there's a chance of a fight. Bella Bell is fighting uh, Dix. <laughs> I know. I, what a <laughs> dumb it. name. God, <laughs> Rob, Brian, that's his name, sir. <laughs> Treat it with respect. <laughs> okay, I don't remember what his full name was, but his full name was just. <laughs> Just, they call him dicks. Just grow up, guys. <laughs> Should we just call him Richard? What Let's call him Richard from now on. <laughs> from now on, his name is Ignoring Richard. Ignoring that part, Brian, just answer the damn question. I'll take Richard. Uh, uh, about the fight that's coming up? Yeah, there's going to be a fight, possibly. Uh, What's the level difference? One? Two. Two, two, two level we know, but we, but we assume, though, that... Three. He's, he's, Bell, yeah, Bell, Bell's gotta be three, yeah. yeah. Bell's three, but the, but the th remember though, the guy is, did use a curse, and they did make it sound like there is effects to that. Right. Yeah. We just don't know what the effects are. Supposedly. Right. So, dude, are you, dude, it's coming from <laughs> Bell's man, the like the Grand Wizard. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> so. Um, I hope it's good, but it's like I feel like Bell's gonna hesitate because it's like, oh, it's another human being. I shouldn't kill him. And then, the hell no! I don't think that's gonna be. And then it's gonna be a whole sob story behind him, and be like, <laughs> oh, I was cursed from birth because of these eyes. It's always and, uh, fucking yeah. anime eyes, man. 
I don't think I can agree, but yeah, that's, that's always it. anime eyes. This would be this would be Johan's favorite character. <laughs> Um, just because he's checks yeah, out. Yeah. Um, just, he's, I don't he's, know. He's a, he's a, you know, a smuggler, just like Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I feel like it's going to go the route of um, uh, a fox girl is going to break in, catch up to him, uh, give him level buff, and then Bell's going to have, like, his big, like, superpower moment where, you're, like, the bells aren't ringing, and then he has the... OP stats or whatever. I forgot his like uber power is. I forgot what it was, but that's probably gonna kick him, punch him in the face, knock him out, and win. He basically has like that hero ability, you know? yeah. That kind of just that's basically it's just like when you're in, whenever you're in a tough moment, you use this. Yeah. Which is uh, one one thing I kind of I kind of uh, dislike about the, his ability, but um, mm. I, I it's either I, I assume he's just gonna get his ass kicked. Somebody's gonna come up like uh, come up and either like save him. Or, um, no, that the new uh. That it's a strong oh, monster. Beast. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, oh, yeah. it's a minotaur too. So that's that's pretty. Yeah. Cool. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I think that. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Guy. I think he's the uh, the other monster that went off to train and like the. Yeah, he's level. he's the strongest yeah. monster. Yeah. Yes, that's the minotaur that's like shadowed and stuff. I can't wait for that. I'm actually excited for that guy now. <laughs> Fuck Bell. The fucking <laughs> old minotaur is the new MVP for this. Jeez. So so maybe next episode. Maybe up the next episode we can get that. All the animation budget goes to it. Hell and then we just, yeah! I hope we go with him and not Bill. Honestly, and then we just get stick figures for the next five episodes after. That's fine. <laughs> no, it ma- it makes me wonder if they're like, because I don't think Brian, you never played the the mobile game, right? You did for a little bit. Oh, you did. Okay, but I uh, think you did, so- didn't you, Brian? Wait, what? Didn't mobile you play game? the Damashi oh. mobile game for a bit? No, I didn't. Oh, it was just Peter then. Never mind. Yeah. Continue. So, so then, with, with the mobile game, they had a special story or special story event that came out. It was like the origin of the city, like Argonaut, basically like Bell and everyone else's ancestors. And in that story, basically, it was Bell fighting against the like the monster king or demon king, which was actually Minotaur. And then, like at the end of the battle, like Bell, you're, you're talking about Argonaut, right? Or Bell. Argonaut, yeah, yeah, Argonaut yeah. was showing respect towards like the Minotaur. And then it was, it was kind of one of those things where it was like, you know, like I bested you this round, but hopefully, like sometime in the future, we'll fight again. So I wonder if they're gonna do like something similar to that, to like the reincarnation oh, okay. of that Minotaur, and then like the uh, the ancestor of Argonaut is gonna team up and fight against Richard and like like unite <laughs> people, right? Yeah. So I wonder. I wonder Grow up, guys. I wasn't gonna I laugh love, until Sven laughed. It wasn't. I, I love Richard. Man. We'll, we'll keep it, Richard. I'm working with like five year olds, man. You say dicks, <laughs> and everyone starts laughing. I was laughing when he said Richard. <laughs> and that's why I laugh because Sven couldn't hold it in. God damn it. It's just. Anyway, go All ahead. Right. Sorry, cool. I just want to say yeah. that um, the part right now, like, so they're at a disadvantage because the monsters mm. got cursed and they're fighting against each other. Dude, the people the people in this familia are just standing there watching this all happen while Bell is like charging in. So they better start getting involved because they're just they're just standing there watching this thing no, no, everything it, happen. They didn't know that he was going in. He Bell snuck off and on his own. No, I'm, I'm saying in this fight right now and like in yeah. in um the labyrinth, yeah. whatever. Like so, all the monsters are cursed, and just, right. they show the monsters fighting each other. They didn't show any of the other familia getting ready to fight. It just and then just ch- jumps to Bell just. Going in straight for for the leader, so that would that would yeah that would actually make more sense then like if basically if the, if the minotaur comes in and let's say basically he's way too strong and then like the the uh, the hunters or are whatever they are basically they like they have to just bail because like are they, are they part of the same familia as the as as like Richard or are they like just like hired like random people. No, no, they're just they're the same familia. Yeah, yeah. so the same familia. Yeah, so yeah. So I guess yeah, the Minotaur then would be like fighting against the familia. Yep, probably yeah. So I guess I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's just it's just weird to me how like it is the whole focus on was the monsters and the curse, and like the mm-hmm. familia was just standing there just watching all this happen. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's whatever. I um uh, I don't know I'm still like I'm actually like really hyped for next episode especially if, if the Minotaur does actually uh come in um I'm I'm hoping next episode kind of delivers as much as DJC staff can possibly deliver. I don't I don't really know if like if if like Bell's like familiar like would show up in this dungeon. Or yeah, I think they're elaborate. too far. I think they're like, too far back. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Maybe later on because they are inquiring the uh, the one guy who might know about this smuggling group, and maybe 
uh, he can tell them how to get through the passage that they use to smuggle monsters. Yeah, I was trying to you guys think. Hmm? Want, like Fells, because he's the only one that knows like the passage. No, no. Uh, so uh, the guy, I think he was uh, like second in command, and the uh, the Soma's familiar. Um, cause what was it? Uh, Lily was talking to her. Or talking oh, that her. guy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then he was he he used to smuggle monsters too, cause he would brag about it to Lily. That's how Lily knew. Yeah. All right. So she so like like Hestia and everyone else, they're gonna go question and kind of investigate like what's going on behind the scenes. And then I'm sure once they figure out that they have to go here, there's a hidden pathway that they use to smuggle monsters. Oh yeah. Maybe they'll meet okay. Bell like later on. That okay, well. I totally forgot about that point. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense then. Yeah, so it's possible, but I think it's going to be mainly just Bell, and then the Minotaurs are going to show yeah. up. They're going to team up. We and still, then I mean, we're only like halfway the through the season, so we still have a lot of things to go through. Right. So I yeah. wonder, yeah, like, I see, yeah, I guess like they went like kill, they went kill off, kill anyone off this this fight. Seems like maybe we send it to some other fight. I guess we still don't know what what's like how they conclude this arc. I don't like it seems hard to believe that they're just gonna accept the xenos um i I feel like the the ecolos uh familia they're gonna get disbanded right because they're yeah they're, they're caught now and then um it's gonna introduce if there's a season four it's probably gonna introduce the evilist familia or oh, like yeah. some other og familia because it looks like they're just trying to dive deeper and deeper into the lore so yeah. i'm fine with it like they've yeah. actually been really good with the lore so far yeah, so far it's been really good. Yeah, but as long as they actually have like time that they they explain it and not skip arcs, it definitely seems like it's an actual. I mean, like, <laughs> it's hard to ask for when it's JC staff. Yeah, like, I know. Again, it's you know, index fans will know all about this. Yeah. Right. How? Oh, uh, just asking you guys. How strong do you guys think Fells is? Like, do you think like, he's a he or oh, she's actually like a beast? They, he or shit. They keep you think so? he's, he's strong. a yeah. super strong sage, but it's like we don't really see much of it. So, yeah, it's basically any old sage is pretty, pretty strong, strong, right? Yeah, that's kind of like I mean, the yeah. the gist of the character. So, I mean, he, he he seems like he has some pretty epic gear as well. When you basically wear something that prevents all status effects. <laughs> well, I mean, like you're yeah, a mage, yeah, so basically. you rely on like your magic anyways. So, yeah, I suppose that's true. <clears throat> but we didn't see any of it yet, and what do you mean that air blast, bro? Yeah, that's blast. basically what I was. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was. But basically it's like he's referencing. basically been like the messenger so far, and this is the first time he's been actually like involved in like a fight. So it's pretty cool. I still wish we never would have saw what he looked like. <laughs> that just ruined everything. His character design, yeah, it's very disappointing. I know. Like I was. I, we I, shall not speak of that here, sir. Uh, I know. If you, if you guys are interested, it was a few episodes ago we talked about it. Yeah, but. Anyway, I got nothing else. Yeah, I'm, I'm still loving the show. It's still like dude, one of my top, top next shows. Next episode season. is going to be a banger. I, I don't know feel it. top episode, but like it's better in season two, so it's good enough for me. Yes. Yes, I'll take it. Mm. Brian, do you, do you think it's at least better than season two? Uh, the... Like the Red Light District? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll take. I was, just, it. I was just trying to condense it all into one like image. I was, I would probably say, yeah. Dude, they went through like four arcs in like twelve episodes. Yeah, Wait, was, for was, real? Excuse yeah, me. It was, it was really bad. Yeah. Like they they cut out a lot. We and and we only know this because me and Koo both played the mobile game and we actually got like what the story was, uh, and they you, cut out so much. You sh can you follow the mobile game as like canon? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it's canon. They actually lay everything out for you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, kind of uh, if you're if you're wanting to look up this like story, I'm pretty sure people have put YouTube videos up, basically of like cutscenes and stuff, and just basically what you're missing. Yeah. Meh. Okay. <laughs> Fair I'm, enough. And I'm pretty sure um, season three, like I'm pretty sure I heard people saying too, like this is like the best part of light novels. So I, even mm. if they're like, even if how good it is here, it's probably like, really good in the light novel. So I'd be excited to read it later on. Just so it goes downhill like, season four then. Again, well, I don't know, okay, I don't know about downhill, but like, we'll see. I don't even know how long. Yeah. Like, I don't know like how long this series is gonna go for. Seems like cause yeah. it seems like by season three, seems like we've gotten so much into the light novel volumes. Seems like a season four should be like. It sounds like season four should be like a sort of finale. I don't know. Maybe Evilist is the finale. But I think light novels are still going, right? Like the story's not done. It's still going. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's over. Yeah, but 
There must be a lot of volumes right now. At least like 20 volumes. Yeah, I, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I got nothing more. Yeah. So, so that's it for Damachi. And, um, that's like our main shows, basically. So I guess I'll hand it over if, uh, Kua and Stran, you want to talk about Standing on a Million Lives? Sure. Oh, you gave up on it? I'm not no, caught, I'm still I'm, watching it. I'm not caught up. No, David. Oh, David. Okay. I, mean, I can watch it later, oh, but I'm not caught up. So I spent all, yeah, so... all the time catching up to, to Damachi and Higurashi, all right? Hey, no worries, man. man. No worries. Nice. Oh, no, dude, you guys are watching this show, too? Yeah. Are you watching it at all? No, it's shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? Oh, my God. Fuck you. I never even watched it. <laughs> oh, you haven't even oh, watched it at all? It, it's actually no. not that bad. Of a, uh, of according a to my anime list. Or the Your favorite okay. site? This is, this is where I would have to back up David. Your Fuck favorite your site? It's actually, like... Because, because the, because I would just say, like, for when it comes to isekai, like the bar is set so GD low, like it just, like it's ba- basically like anything like this just makes it seem like it's good. I mean, so uh, or if, at least if you're tired of isekai, friend, uh, Brian, like, then it'd be hard. But if it's, it's better, it it actually has a plot compared to other isekais. So, and so. I don't know, man. I'd rather. I feel like my guys. isekai bar is kind of dead after. Oh, yeah, guys, we have Log Horizon. We have, on we have Log Horizon next month. Exactly. That's not Isekai, though. That. That's Why a, would I? I don't call. I don't Dude, call. Wait, MMO, are you kidding me? That is Isekai. I don't call MMOs Isekai because, like, you. Well, yeah. he's literally transported to another yeah, this, this world, world Isekai, completely. So. Uh, it's just, it's an MMO. David, David, but he's been in an MMO for like the entire show. Bro, yeah. is MMO <laughs> even a genre in anime? I call it is it actually MMO because, like, you <laughs> know, is. you know, like. The, the, the way the system works and how the game works, whereas, like, other isekais is an actual, like, like parallel world. David, so they were all hey, transported to this world. Like, it's an you isekai. get transported to a world. <laughs> it's an isekai, that's what but it means. Does, the thing about Law Cries, it doesn't he have to figure out how the systems work again? Some parts, uh... yeah, but you're basically familiar with, like, how the game works in general. Anyway, guys... Sending a million lives. It's actually not that bad, David or uh, Brian. But um, <laughs> but I mean, it's like if you're not like really interested, like or don't have the time, I'd say just pass because I mean, like I said, Lock Horizon's coming next month or not next month, but next season, and it's just gonna seem like trash compared to it. I'm sure. That's what I just think. But... Okay, dude, the genre isn't called MMO; it's called game. Okay. Yeah, David. My bad. <laughs> Games. All right. Get your genres correct. All right, okay. you guys can go. I had no idea, David. I tried to back you up. <laughs> That's just my personal uh, thing. It's not anything official. It's just my personal. No, no, I, I would, I would take that too. I mean, it makes sense. And you're um, wrong. It's an isekai. It's like calling right. sword art isekai, but go, keep going, Stren. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, it was. It was. Yeah. Keep going, Stren. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, sitting on a million lives because I missed the previous episode. I'm actually liking this arc more because it actually seems like there's a um, kind of like more things that are going on, like the the, the quest itself. Like they, it, it's it's uh, it's more of kind of like a mystery where it's like they first where you have like oh we'll just get, like make like or uh, reveal five percent of the map. So they're doing that, but then they also said basically like, you're supposed to escort like a package in a sense, and they're like, what is this supposed to be? So then they just, they're they walking through like a, what was it? they're going through this stuff and then they see like a random kind of a group being attacked by monsters. So like, oh man, side quest. Yes. So they go over there, save the people and they find out that the people that they just saved are actually going to execute the package that they're supposed to be protecting. But the problem is they can't just straight up kill these guys because they get penalties for attacking like humans. So like that whole kind of like, uh, so now it's basically like, how the hell do you get these people like with, uh, or like to protect them? without, like, actually killing the people, even though they could have easily just had that chick go after them and kill all of them. So I'm just assuming she's way stronger than all of them. But then, you know, they're trying to figure out, like, what to do. Like, they don't want to just straight up kill everybody just because, you know, they don't want to so, create even more issues. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's not it's not just some guy with his cheap powers doing whatever he wants in his fancy land. <laughs> right. And, and the main guy is actually not OP. He's basically, he's a, he's a what is he, a cook? He's I think he's currently cook. a cook right now. Yeah, he's currently a cook right now. Um, uh, no, wasn't he like a? What was the first one? Wasn't he first a one farmer? farmer. Oh, wait, no, was the third one. No, he yeah, was a cook, no. and then he, he was leveled, like a. No, he was a farmer, and then he leveled to be a cook. cook yep. And then now he's a creature wizard. Yeah, something like like <laughs> that's fancy where he can, like Beastmaster. <laughs> I guess, well, yeah. But Beastmaster, which nothing's worked except when he tried to talk to a berserker. That's the only yeah. time it's like it's worked. 
Um, so it's, I don't know. It's just kind of like I'm trying to remember where, where do they end off on? They they got out of like that maze slash like puzzle escape room. Yep. So now they're fighting the boss of the dungeon, a gargoyle. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And we'll kind of see what's going on from there. And the, the main guy is currently trapped in a hole. And he's currently making footstep things so he can climb out. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I don't know. I'm actually like, I'm, I'm, in, I'm not hating the show. I definitely think it's, it's better than, uh, we'll just, I'll just call it Issy Guys, David, for now. Just because I, I got another term for it. Um, or games. I mean, this this one I'll call Isekai because <clears throat> they are transported. Whereas, that's I'm just, true, say, I'm that's just true. saying other ones like it's a game Log Horizon, mode. right? Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, for so for this one, I would definitely say like I mean I, um, I'm I've, it's def- I'm definitely more interested in it than a lot of more recent Isekais I've watched. Mm-hmm. Um, Which again, we're saying the bar low. <laughs> right. Like I wish I, I wish the animation was better, but I don't. But it's, it's I, I don't mind it as much because like the show's not nearly focused. It's not. It's kind of like Log Horizon where it's not like really fo- focused on the like, the action scenes. It's actually more kind of like of the story or like the quest in the sense of this, or uh, or just like the, just was it yeah. just the plot? Well, because this show actually feels like you have consequ- more. Con- you have a consequence, like unlike yeah. other East Kai's, where again, just some guy in his fancy world doing whatever. Like you're supposed to kill yeah. the, 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 the demon lord. None of these isekais ever get to the demon lord at all. Right. We're just right, right. stuck in like season, <laughs> end of first season, or yeah, we're just stuck at the end of the first season. We never make it to right. the demon lord or his castle or killing the demon lord. Yeah. So it's like, and then the whole thing is too, like they, um, because like I know, like they all have to die to basically like for them to lose in a sense, or basically all die. Um, but it's like, but then when you like, like let's say like when the like the MC when he basically got pushed off the Waku. And then he got he died, but then he fell to the bottom and he got mm-hmm. stuck there. Like he can't, he can't just teleport out of there. He basically has to get himself out of there, or they have to complete the quest first. So like those kind of things, like they they make it more interesting. But at the same time, like it splits the party up, so you know that you know they're obviously not going to all die. But at the same time, they have like a, they have they have a time limit that they have to complete this quest by. And of course, the like like how they're timing it, it it'll, you know they have like one day to complete the quest, but like when they get there. Mm-hmm. But it's like I, mean, I don't know. It's it's good. And I feel like I've talked about this for longer than five minutes, but no, it's <laughs> not bad at all. So yeah, Brian, if you have any time and you feel like an Isekai and you want to, uh, you know, bide some time until until the the real one comes, um, next next season, go ahead and give it a shot. Hey, uh, Mister, it's an MMO, not an Isekai. Would you consider Overlord an Isekai? Yes. <laughs> that one, oh. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. one okay. Excel world. That one's an easy guy, but not an MMO. Well, but okay. Overlord, Overlord is like it's hard to say. Excel yeah, an easy guy or another MMO. Overlord is hard to harder, say because it's basically a guy who's transported to yeah. different worlds. I I just I it's, keep forgetting it's MMO. I should I should call it, I call it easy guy, but I should call it MMO because I forget. Yeah, because I hide a lot of okay, the game stuff. What about stuff. Excel world? Excel worlds I feel more to game because you go back and forth between it's like it's like sword art where you log back and forth. Wait, game like, MMO or Overlord? Guy, what? You don't no, you don't no, leave Excel world. The world. No, I said Excel, oh, Excel world. world. Oh, which, which Excel world? Yeah, which of course you know it's the same guy who wrote sword art. So, <laughs> but it's AR instead of VR. So, yeah, basically, yeah. What about um? What about the defense anime one? Is that <laughs> I call it MMO because uh, you're logging in and out. You're not trapped in that uh, isekai that parallel world. Bulfury. Bulfury. Okay. Anyways, Bulfury. my point is um. Yeah. Um, on anime list, it's a uh, all generalized under well, game that's, tag. That's so... Strand's website. You can talk with Strand about that. Actual facts, you bitch. <laughs> My bad. Tell you the correct term, okay? <laughs> My bad. If it's not know. a game, everybody considers it easy guy. Fuck you. Yeah, I probably won't watch it. I'll probably just. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't want to get invested into it. Like I said, it's fine, but it's not like that top tier level. It's not like it, it's not like Lock Horizon. We need better standards for easy guys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's it's basically like if you need an Essekai or something for a season. We we, we have, I don't know what need we have. We need better Essekais. Just say that. Hey, I'm just saying for people who love Essekais and they need one for a season or something. Like Damn. every season they need one. This is this would be the this would be the Essekai for the season. Um. Uh, anyway, sorry, Ku. I I feel like I've talked about like this entire time about oh, no, you're, you're million good. lives. You're good. You have more <laughs> to talk about than I did. But okay. Well, I also didn't. I also wasn't caught up last week, so. Hmm. I basically kind of catch up to all that. 
But anyway, I think I'm good. Yeah. Giving the show enough airtime, so. Hell yeah. That's it for staying a million lives. And then um, if if uh, if Ku and Taylor wants to talk about uh, Ikibukuro Westgate. Um, I want my, my Game Wars. That has yet to happen. Um, <laughs> I want my Persona. So far, my stylized Persona art style. Yeah, but... Yeah, but cool. If you needed the rival gang to have a leader that studied ballet in Chicago, this is your anime. This <laughs> Who is needs a show. war. The show about nothing. I bet you they didn't even fight, right? They're just a bunch of friends, and then the OP <laughs> was just a lie. It was all just a fucking lie. Like, obviously, since he's a dancer, his fighting style is gonna be Capoeira, and then you got the other guy who's probably like a karate or a kenpo master. Like, I want to see him go at it, right? Just kind of like <laughs> all they tease in the OP. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's basically this is like a detective show. Like the the main guy Majima, he just goes around and solves cases cases for people, and apparently he does it for free. He does it for justice. So uh, it's it's uh, it's it's super uh, realistic. <laughs> super realistic, you know. It's just uh, I mean I I enjoy it, but it's not what I like with the synopsis that I got from the website or for the anime in general, and then what what you're getting so far. What it's five episodes. Every every episode has been a different case, and mm-hmm. they're not tied to each other. It's not really driving the story further. So this is basically just just anime Seinfeld. If you're old enough to know what that is, so like I've, I've enjoyed it so far, but there's really no like story that's that's driving the plot here. It's just every week you get a new case, and it's something completely different. So. And in this case, they were totally trashing China the whole time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was like, damn, is, is China that bad? Oh, I man. know. They were making China seem like it's the most miserable place on the world to live, like be born and live. <laughs> like, I know the Chinese and the Japanese don't get along, but that's, that yeah, was pretty Stereotypes in, yeah. in Japan. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I suppose so. But then the, yeah. uh, the, the lawyer guy was pretty cool, though. So I thought that was pretty, like, that was a nice touch. Or not yeah. the lawyer guy, uh, the guy that came with the request to find a missing girl. I thought it was kind of interesting that the episode ended on a note of, wow, we really are blessed. You know, we never really think about these things. And maybe mm-hmm. we're kind of lucky to be living in Japan and just kind of ended there. And I was like, whew, <laughs> this episode was very pro Japan. I mean, if this doesn't have a personal agenda, like, <laughs> hmm, very shocked. Um, yeah, but I actually like this episode. I mean, I like the fact that he's basically acting as like a consultant for the gang because I don't know that I'm really all that into gang wars. <laughs> so I feel like I'm more getting what I want out of this more than you. I mean, I suppose like it's it's gotten to the point where there's not that many shows that I that I watch this season to just enjoy. So this this fills that gap, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, I just hate how I feel like I was I was teased or I was lied to or misled, right? Um, mm-hmm. But I mean, based on what they've been delivering, it's not bad. Like it's not bad content. It's not a bad show. It's just not what they told me it was going to be. So, yeah, I could see that. I mean, I didn't even read the synopsis. I literally just watched it because Honey Anatsuki was in it, and he's not even a main character. He's in like three scenes. So right. But I basically watched it, and then I, like I mean, it wasn't just that. I watched the trailer, but. You know, it, it still wasn't that clear. So I feel like, like, I didn't really have any expectations going in and I've been pleasantly surprised. I mean, I guess like for so many seasons or so many years, I always kind of thought that anime that was further down on the list of seasonal anime on my anime list right. was probably not as good. Um, and so I kind of avoided them. But this one kind of opened me up to thinking that there are other ones that are good that are, you know, 13 down or whatever on the list. So mm-hmm. I appreciate it for that. This is why I don't trust Sren's website. <laughs> no, I mean, I, 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 this is why you don't trust people in general. But if you don't have an idea, you want to get a feel for it. You know, it's it's nice to have like something to work with. You know, so it's, yeah. it's fine. I find, but take it with uh, a grain of salt. I guess that's what you have to remember. I find like I mean, now like I'm better at reading, at knowing what animes are based off based off the, the summaries. So even though like even though I guess it didn't really match for me for you keep a girl Westgate, but I found that uh early before um, a lot of the reviews on my anime list or um, on anime news network I mean 
when they did the streaming previews, I felt like a lot of those helped me find a lot of the hidden gems, and then also finding Reddit threads on them just to see. So using those two, I felt was how I found like a lot more of the the hidden gems each season. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess, so. but I, I still like my way better just because uh, you kind of just go into it for a blank state and you see if you enjoy it. I mean, it for, for me, like, I'm much better at, at I, I can tell by the summary nowadays, so I don't really need to do as, as uh, as well. But what if it lies to you? What if it misleads you? Well, I feel like maybe, I thought like that's the exception more than, like, I feel like I've, I've gotten better at it by now. Man, I... Re- I research everything to death. I'll read. The, I'll start with the art. Does the art look good? Then I'll read the synopsis. Oh, no. That sounds I good. Need... Then I check the studio. If that's good, then I check the voice actors, oh, and then I'll goodness. check and see what people have said who have read the manga. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I'll maybe I'm just to watch it. Okay, I maybe I'm just far. easy. Maybe, maybe maybe that's what it is. Maybe I just enjoy everything. Like I'm, well, I'm just too easy, I guess. Yeah. Oh no, I have low. All right, I have low standards. That's what it is. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Uh, no, there's there's a balance between you and Taylor. All right. So, <laughs> not really um, the extremes, apparently. Yeah. Apparently. But, but yeah, yeah, that's all I've got for Ikebukuro. I mean, I like unless you wanted to talk more about the episode specifically. Uh no, not really. Just because there's really no point. But although I do gotta say, uh, with this little sister that's been added to his family mm-hmm. uh maybe something's going to happen to her that's what triggers the whole war that's that's kind of what i'm oh guessing. god i don't want anything to happen to her she was so precious <laughs> she's chinese they don't care come on like she's not gonna last oh my god <laughs> but, yeah but like i said uh it's, it's only episode five so i think episode six is gonna be another like easy go lucky episode and then i think that's where it starts to pick up I- I'm, I'm assuming I would hope so. This because this one is just one season for sure, right? I mean, right. it would yeah, have to so. only be one season. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would think they need to end on some sort of arc or dramatic note. So yeah. we'll see. It, it's hard to see from here. I mean, they've touched on serious topics. Like, I feel like the last two episodes actually had some pretty like heavy topics. But yeah, the they, show they went itself, all over the place. Honestly. Yeah, they did. But the show itself still doesn't. I mean, it's kind of resolved in like a I don't know like a Nickelodeon style show resolution, you know, it's super easy and everybody's too happy at the end, except for the one. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. That, except for the one last that, week. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But like for like the main characters of the show, the ones who are actually in each episode, like there's really mm. nothing happening with them. Yep. Just doing a job. Yeah. Are you going to keep watching it? Oh yeah. No, no, for sure. Right. Like, uh, like I said, with this season, there's really not much to, there's not much to watch, really. So this luckily came in this season. But if it was to say to come out next season or in in uh, spring, uh, I don't know. I think I'd have too much of my plate to give this a chance, to be honest. It's fair. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's all I have. I'll, just mention real, I'll mention real quick, too, that that um, in Japan, like, yeah, Chinese people are, like, probably, they're probably, like, the biggest, like, immigrant group. And usually they work, like, the, the, the blue-collar jobs. So also another mm-hmm. reason why Japanese people don't have a good image about them. Yeah. No, it's actually not even that. I think it's all Asian immigrants, right, to come to Japan. Like, there's a hate for them. Not hate, it's just like... Probably there's... not like South Koreans. They'd probably be okay, cool with that. No, well, I, I mean... saw a documentary once about how, like, like Vietnamese come to Japan to work these, like, oh, well, so, like that's... weird jobs. Filipinos, yeah. Chinese people. You know, people people who are desperate for money True. and a job, and they're promised that they'll like make enough that money to thing. support the family yes, back home. But I don't think it's mm-hmm. like yeah. I don't think it's a negative feeling towards it. It's just like, uh, I feel like it's one of those things that Japan wants to hide, but it's slowly starting to like, like, ex- like they're slowly starting to expose it for what it is. But it's it's not like it's it's the systematic thing. Not it's not like it's not like individual people like really hate all these like like pe- other people coming in, but it's like it's semantic so it's more of like a maybe like a subtle like a subtle racism or casual racism um yeah or at the very least it just because kind of affects your perception without you even realizing there's a lot it. there's a lot of abuses yeah. going on with the that system you mentioned ku where because it's it's still very hard to get a job in japan as a foreigner so it there's a lot of abuses mm-hmm. that happen and then uh the the workers get like they're the ones who get screwed the most and sometimes that's like 
they like they do things like they overstay their visas or they like take jobs they're not supposed to just because they get screwed over and then they get blamed for it so that kind of thing yeah apparently all you gotta do is just get adopted by a japanese person and you're good to go which yes, i don't know if that, that's real or not but that, yes nickelodeon ending yes crazy <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens next episode oh no here comes the truck <laughs> <laughs> no sister uh, only been a that's, day. But that's truck, tragic I really hope that doesn't the, happen the truck, went, <laughs> the truck went started gang war Kui. she's got jokes on you the truck was driven by the, the Chinese people that like lost her and they're mad so they want revenge I don't know I mean, I don't know. Fuck. I'm just making shit up. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right. So that's going to be it for Ikebukuro West Skate Park. And then, Taylor, you want to mention uh, Moriarty the Patriot? Oh, shit. Uh, yes. This week. This week was another, um, like, meat and potatoes episode. It had nothing to do with, like, the overarching plot. They still haven't introduced us to Sherlock Holmes. Like, he's yes. a pretty prominent part of the OP. And oh, he still I, hasn't shown up, and we're on episode I didn't know he was five. Sh- I didn't know he was supposed to show up. I thought it was supposed to be like everything before Sherlock or something. I don't think so. Well, no, it can't be because the voice actors are credited for it on oh, the show, okay. and they're a lot higher than a bunch of other characters. So they've got to show up at some point. <laughs> and like I said, they're they're featured pretty prominently in the OP. So I don't know. We'll see when they show up. But this one was just another nobles are super evil, like comically evil. Another... Um, and then Moriarty solved it. Another... It was actually pretty sad, though. Like, the thing that the noble did was really messed up. Um, but yeah, I'm still really liking it. I stand by what I said earlier, which is that I think I look forward to watching this show more than several of the others that I'm watching. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's a solid show all around. And it's going to be long, too. It's 24 episodes. So... Oh, I didn't know it's 24 episodes. Yeah. So we'll have some time to spend with them too and build them up. Ooh, but and then never get and then never get a season two. I mean, that's practically like a season two, you know, twenty four episodes. Basically, yeah. All right, yeah. fine. Season three then. <laughs> yeah, why do you sound so angry? Jeez. Anyways, that's all I have for that one. As I mentioned, just more nothing the, but good things. The whole, um, you know, nobles not behaving. Properly, especially against people of lower class. Sounds like, you know, one of the things we need to educate Strand on, the whole class discrimination, just like just like in uh in the what's the, what's the other show? The Ultimate yeah, Ultimate game. <laughs> Where you couldn't understand yeah, you couldn't understand the class the classism <laughs> in the show. Maybe we should help him help him understand. I don't even remember what oh what the hell is Ultimate. I can't You lost me, man. The... I don't remember. <laughs> basically you're having trouble understanding why like why nobles like were so discriminatory against the, the common the, the common girl i don't remember what ultimate what show was that it's, it's, the, one... it's the one where the girl dies and she's reborn as like the evil she she's the villainess uh, like the... oh gotcha the villainess thank you yes gotcha <laughs> never mind I, I, like this, he doesn't this remember shit went way, went way too far i had to explain it so i'm just gonna ignore it i already forgot about the show God damn it, Strain, you ruined my momentum. So that's Sorry, man. Sorry. Moriarty. Um, is there any other shows that if anyone wants to talk about, the floor is yours. Uh no, I'm good, man. Nothing it's... else I'm watching that's worth talking about. <laughs> Can't wait for that next season though. Yeah. Damn. Mm. All right. So I guess that's be it for this week's episode. So we're right in it here. I want to thank the audience for joining us today. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Johan. Thanks, guys. And thanks, thanks Paul. everyone. Nice seeing you here every week. I'm glad Peter I was here know. at the perfect time. We love shit on you, Peter. That's why you need to get on to defend yourself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't think he's. Yeah, he's not, he's not anymore. here anymore. anymore. But I'm saying it's always. He was in here for the moment we talked about him, and then the right he's time. Gone. Just yep. for him to hear a shit on him. Guys, so. maybe if you guys would stop being so mean to him, he would stay uh, the whole no, time. Maybe Peter could get on and <laughs> defend himself. So. Just chase away all our fans. I'll show you later, bitch. Peter, I'll give you. Wow, no, Johan, you're here too early. God damn it. Okay, let me finish this first. So, thanks to the panel for joining me <laughs> this week. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Brian. No we always love you having you here. Mm-hmm. So, feel yep. free to jump in anytime. Yep. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Sasha, I know you can't hear us, but we also appreciate you jumping <laughs> in every every week. I know you love Fire Force, so we just gotta get through it before Tag and Titan comes out. So. Yes. 
that's gonna be it for this week. We'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 Hello.